Hello, I'm Ray with the Austin Air Company, and today we're going to show you how to program a Honeywell Vision Pro 8000 thermostat. Okay, to go over this uh, thermostat fully, uh, we've got to understand the operation. Uh, basically, it's a touchscreen thermostat, you know, and your installer will go over all this with you, you know, when you have it installed. Uh, to get in here and to, to uh, change your program, you want to hit Schedule, and then you want to choose uh, Edit. Now, one thing that you're going to see is you're going to see there's a whole bunch of days up here. So let's say, you know, you can basically pick one day, two days, however many days you want to pick. If your schedule fluctuates between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can set up, you know, seven different days for, for uh, programming. Now, the advantage to this is, is that uh, this particular thermostat has a smart learn feature that basically where, you know, if you set it, at 6 a.m. to be uh, 65 degrees, it will be 65 degrees by that time. So in other words, the unit's not going to just kick on at that time and start running. You can shut that adaptive feature off if you don't want it, but I'd fully recommend because then you don't have to sit around and wait for it to either cool down or heat up. And basically you just go in here and you set your heating and your cooling uh, set points. And uh, once you have your days selected, then you could, you drop down here to the wake settings. You got to hit edit, and then you can even edit the time periods that you want to want to choose. Your wake setting is the time period for when you wake up. So you know if you're uh, if you uh, sleep uh, during the daytime, then you know you would choose you know an evening setting for your wake time. Uh, leave setting is typically when you leave to go to work or you're leaving the house for whatever reason then you typically want to set your thermostat higher or your heat lower to where you're not uh, running the heating and cooling equipment if you're not home and then your return temp now as we talked about that little adaptive feature of the thermostat it will be it will be this set point and usually it takes probably about two usually anywhere from two weeks to a month to learn your house. It basically has a program in there that counts down how long it takes for it to reach a certain temperature, you know, as opposed to the temperature that it sets at. And so that basically, you know, if you set 6 p.m. your return temperature, that's what the temperature will be or very close to it by the time you get home at that time. Your sleep setting, uh, some people like to sleep, you know, like it a little bit cooler, or a little bit warmer when they sleep so you can set those settings and uh, you know and then whatever time you typically go to bed whether it's 10 o'clock or later you can set that accordingly and then basically when you're done uh, setting up the uh, program and you have it all set up on the days selected you just hit done and that basically saves your whole program let's say a company is coming over and you want to set the thermostat lower for a few hours So let's say we wanted to cool it down to 69 degrees. Via the beans that we have that program set up, it's going to hold that temperature until your next setting. So in other words, there's very minimal fuss. You know, if you've got company coming over for a few hours, you want to make it a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer, you can set the thermostat, and uh, it will automatically flip over to your your uh, to your program once that time period hits. Now, if you want to hold it past that, like let's say companies come come over and they're going to spend the night, you can press hold again, hold again, and then you've got a one day setting. So in other words, it's also a vacation setting. Like say you're going to go away on vacation, and um, let's see, let's get back here to hold, hold. Let's say you're going to go away for three or four days. You set it up here at four days. And you set your thermostat higher because you're not going to be home. So you don't want the AC running unnecessarily, so you uh, you crank the the set point up, and then it's going to hold that temperature. So in other words, if it gets 85, it's not going to go any higher than that. It's going to maintain 85 degrees for four days. Once that four day period is up, it's going to flip right back over to your to your original setting. So that way, when you come home, it'll be nice and comfortable for you, and you don't have to worry about resetting the thermostat. Um, 
to get it off that you just you just hit you know if you get you know for whatever reason your plans change and you come back you just hit schedule and it goes right back to your same schedule now there's another uh, advantage uh, to this thermostat is is that it's got an auto changeover feature now this change uh, this changeover feature has to be programmed in you know it's not something that so you know and and your your installer will go over all this with you uh, you know, and how to set that up because there's programming involved in order to set the thing up. But what this does is it gives you two settings on your heat and cool. Now, you know, you could say, oh, well, you know, it's going to mess something up, but it, it's not. This this thing is pretty much uh, idiot proof. Uh, you know, you're not going to cause the heating and the cooling because if you notice, the more further down I go on cooling, it's dropping that heat temp too. The same thing if the heat. If I raise the heat, it's going to raise the cooling set point. So, you know, basically what that means is your furnace and your air conditioner isn't going to run at the same time, uh, wasting energy with them both running and both, uh, both uh, uh, kicking on, kicking off type stuff. So, uh, we've got the air on. We don't need the air on. It's 68 degrees in here, but uh, so we'll bump that back up. Uh, but that's basically it on the on the uh, the auto changeover. Now, one thing that the auto changeover does for you is is when it's when it's this when it's typically this temperature, 68, 70 degrees. You you know down here in Houston, it can basically get hot, get cold, get hot, get cold, and so then you you know if you have a normal thermostat where you have to flip between you have to flip between the heat and the cool settings, you got to constantly go back and forth, go back and forth. But you see, if you've got auto changeover and you've got your program set up, you can just leave it in auto and it will flip between the two. So in other words, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. You don't have to worry about resetting it once you set the program. The only time you'd make any adjustments is if you uh, if you've got a company coming over and you want to set it for a certain amount of period, you know, and then once it hits your your next changeover period, it's going to flip back to your program. Makes it very easy, out of sight, out of mind. Once you set it, you forget it, unless you want to permanently hold. Now, if you want to permanently hold then you can basically permanently hold your settings even on auto changeover or on any other setting you can press it on permanent hold at that point it's going to maintain your current settings it's not going to change nothing the program will not run will not operate until you come over and press schedule in order to revert back to your schedule so it makes it very convenient very simple very easy um, that's basically how to program and that's all the features of the thermostat. Uh, this is a top of the line uh, thermostat that we carry and uh, we warranty this for uh, one year parts and labor, five year part and if you're on a, uh, a maintenance program you can get up to two years labor uh, warranty coverage on this. Um, I do believe there's a few stores and I know you can probably buy it online but you're not going to get the kind of warranty where somebody's going to come to your home and uh, go through all this, you know, for you and set everything up. Uh, you basically be on your own, and typically uh, 90 days, I believe, is a return policy. So you really can't beat the warranties uh, that we offer. Uh, it's really good uh, quality, and we come out, we program it for you, and we go over everything with you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, drop us a line or schedule service. We'd be happy to come over to your home and install one of these and get you cooling and uh, keep it out of sight, out of mind. That concludes our video series on how to program a Honeywell 8000 Vision Pro thermostat. I'm Ray Austin with Austin Air Company. For that great Austin Air feeling, call us today. Or for more information, you can go to our main website at www.austinairco.com. Thank you. Have a great day.